Hi guys, welcome to your new vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Jasmine Angelique. I'm a solo female traveler from Germany. In this vlog, I'm actually not traveling solo. I'll be traveling with my bestie all around Costa Rica. We'll be doing a group tour, but this video will be how we actually get there and all about Costa Rica's entry regulations in 2022. I'm a very interesting travel vlog for me as well just because it's the first time since COVID happened that I'm not actually have to prove my vaccine or have to approve a test or whatever. Um, Costa Rica got rid of all of their entry regulations since April. We'll be traveling in June. Really excited to show you guys what you're gonna be up to if you travel to Costa Rica in 2022. Our journey began one day before our flight as we had decided to stay one extra night in Frankfurt to catch our early flight. As it was June and Germany's government had implemented the 9 euro ticket for public transport due to the high gas prices, we took two regional trains from Nuremberg over Würzburg to Frankfurt. As you can see, because everyone wanted to save money, it was super crowded. But we made it to Frankfurt and had an early dinner in the city before going to our airport hotel. Hello guys! So yesterday, as you saw, we made it safely to Frankfurt. It was a bit of an adventure because the trains were really like so crowded because of the 9 euro ticket. But we made it and it's now like 4 a.m. like super early and we need to leave for the airport though our flight is like at 9.40 just because um, the airports in Germany at the moment are chaos you... Um, there's a literally a high chance we cannot check in because they don't have like enough stuff due to corona and it's like a total chaos so we're a bit worried about that but Hopefully we make it, we're gonna think positive and um, yeah, then our first flight is to Zurich and then to Costa Rica, so let's go! The flight was off to a rough start because apparently Lufthansa system lost our booking which is why we weren't able to check in online the day before. The lady at the counter of Frankfurt Airport was able to retrieve our booking in the system again but was super unfriendly and annoyed. She kind of made it seem like it was our fault, which was obviously wasn't. It was a very unpleasant experience, but in the end we were able to make it to our first flight to Zurich from where we took off to Costa Rica. We made it to our flight um, to San Jose. But apparently like, if you go from Switzerland, or uh, you fly from Switzerland, you don't have to wear a mask. It's so weird being on a plane without a mask. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. It's very cool. Yeah, um, we have shitty seats, but whatever, it's both ours. <laughs> Our flight from Zurich to San Jose was 12 hours and we flew with Edelweiss, which I can highly, highly recommend. We had such a pleasant experience with them, plus we had a road to ourselves, which is always great. You guys, I look absolutely horrible and wrecked, but we made it to San Jose. I'm so excited to be here, but I'm also like so tired right now. We've been up for like, I don't know, probably 24 hours now. Um, I'm gonna show you the hotel room now and then uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow because we're gonna go to bed. So we're staying at the Radisson Hotel here in San Jose. This is what you see when you come in. I'm gonna show you the bathroom later. Um, this is a bed, like we have two huge beds, unfortunately. They're a bit uncomfortable, they're a bit hard. Um, but we gotta roll with it. It's a bit of an old hotel, but it's fine. Like it wasn't that expensive, so totally fine. This is like a TV. And then when you come into the bathroom, oh my gosh. It's, it's pretty huge, obviously. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see it from the camera. Uh, but it's very huge for two people. 
I mean, honestly, in this room, there could be like four people fit in and be fine. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to shower now and then. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the first day of Costa Rica. Um, we're still in San Jose and I just wanted to talk a bit about what the entry process was like here. Hi guys, Jasmine from the future here. I did a really bad job at explaining um, the entry requirements for Costa Rica um, in the original footage I had for this vlog. So I thought I would film this and just put this clip in the vlog. Um, so I'm going to quickly explain what we had to do when entering Costa Rica. Honestly, it felt like pre-COVID and I know COVID is still a thing. I know we still have the pandemic, but I'm pretty sure all of you guys agree that it feels so nice when you don't have to wear a mask on a 12 hour flight. We had to do that on the way back to Germany um, and coming from Switzerland we didn't have to and that felt amazing. And also like because most of Costa Ricans are uh, vaccinated because it, they had a mandatory vaccine. You as a tourist don't have to have a vaccine, which I obviously have. I'm three times vaccinated. Uh, I'm also uh, two times recovered. So um, obviously I know the danger of COVID and I'm prepared for that. But still, you know, it felt nice not having to think about all the stuff you need to have like in traveling to other countries and just having a normal travel experience after two years of living in this crazy world um, and yeah we didn't have to do anything like that um, they just checked our passports gave gave us our stamp and then we were good to go we then got a taxi and honestly if you come from the airport in San Jose and you go to your um, hotel hostel whatever take a uber um if you're in san jose also in la fortuna always take a uber because it's so much cheaper than a taxi other places in costa rica it's not that easy to get a uber but if you are in san jose definitely definitely take it because we paid 30 us dollars for um our taxi to our hotel which was like i think 15 kilometers away i'm not really sure anymore but um yeah definitely definitely highly recommend taking an uber um it's so much easier also safer and uh yeah way way cheaper but now guys back to the vlog after breakfast we went to a mall to get a sim card the provider that was recommended the most online was colby we paid 17 us dollars for five gigabytes to be honest i think it was quite pricey for the amount of data we got However, this is Costa Rica and everything is expensive in Costa Rica. Afterwards, we went to our first two travels tour hotel where we had our first taste of rainy season in Costa Rica. Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, actually, we spent most of the day in a mall, unfortunately, because your girl forgot a few things that she desperately needed and we needed to go to a mall. Um, so, yeah. Stupid me, it's not like I travel all around the world a few times a year, but apparently I don't have a brain. Anyways, <laughs> we're now at a tour hotel. Um, we're gonna wait a bit and um, until we see the other guys, meet up with them later and I think we have dinner. We met up with our true travels group and our tour leader to get to know each other. Later, we took an Uber to the center of San Jose, where we had dinner at this really cool food court that had different styles of food. We then walked around the party district and other places of San Jose a bit before calling it an early night, as we were all super chat like coming from Europe. Good morning, guys. So, yesterday we met up with the group. Um, it was really lovely. Uh, most of them are actually around our age like 28 so it feels nice not to be the oldest for once because usually um it's a lot of gen c people and now we're like millennials and it's like so nice um <laughs> to be around your own age even though i don't mind like being around younger people but um yeah it's nice to be around uh, people in your same age but anyways we're like um seven people so not that much but we all like from the uk from netherlands Kenya, uh, 
us Germans and everything in Belgium. So it's like really nice, it's a really nice mixture and everything. Really love that. Um, and yeah, today actually starts the tour, like for real starts. We're gonna leave San Jose and go to uh, Coope San Juan, <laughs> hopefully I pronounced it right, um, to stay with a homestay, which you will see in the next vlog. That's why I'm actually ending this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative um, so you guys know what to expect when you enter Costa Rica in 2022 and yeah um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys